You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You must do the things you think you cannot do. This is by Eleanor Roosevelt. Welcome, Scouters. All right, today is not day. It is not, not. Remember, Scouts uh, always ask the question, why do we have to learn these? Well, for one thing, it's uh, part of your requirement to get to first class. <laughs> Uh, the next is, it's just something good to know. You know, you never know when you're going to need a knot, let's say a clothesline, right? At summer camp, you're going to have to dry your bathing suits and your towels. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go with the first one. Oh, oh, hey, by the way, uh, at the end, we're going to have uh, beat the clock. And I'm not very fast at knots, so you should be able to do pretty good. But let's see how fast you can do it, because come Campery, you're going to come back to this channel right before that and see if you can test yourself again and see if you remember all of them. All right, let's go. The first knots will be for the scout rank, and there's three of them, and it's a requirement 4A. So you've got square knot, you've got two half hitch, and you've got the taut line. Square knot. If you're right-handed, start with your right hand, and you're gonna go right over left, turn or go over, and then left over right, and then you pull. And you know when you've done it right, when you can kind of do this. This to me is, I kind of like it because it's a universal knot. Um, you can pretty much tie everything with this. Um, it's real good uh, for joining just two ropes of the same diameter, like these are. So if you're a left-handed person, start with your left hand. Left over right, right, <laughs> see I almost went wrong right over left. So just opposite what you started with. And it's, a, it's the same, same knot. All right, now we're gonna do the two half hitches. Now let me show you a trick. This is the only way I can learn these knots, is believe it or not, using the book, but I turned the book upside down. You can follow it a little better. So you go in over, outside, make a loop, Come in, you go outside again, but outside this loop. So you got an inside and an outside. Come back through and then dress your knot, tighten it. And it looks just like this one. Of course the book is upside down. But to me it's easier to try and follow how it looks when you're doing it on the pole. Okay, that's the two half hitch. Now the uses are usually like if you're uh, tying a um, guideline for your tarp or dining flies. And um, there's usually something called the standing end, the end that really doesn't move, and then you've got a working end, which is the end that always does something. And then, so you're gonna be going through a loop, you make a loop, and if it crosses each other over or under, this is called an eye. Otherwise, it's just a bite if it, if it never connects, crosses over. Okay, the next one is the taut line. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put your book here, do it upside down. So you take your rope, put it around your whatever you're going to tie it to. And make sure you got enough length on this end, your working end. You're going to make a big loop, go under it, and then you're going to do it two times inside. One, two, and then come under on the outside, push it through, tighten it, all three of them. This is what this is the key. You got to tighten it to make it work. This is dressing your knot, and then this part gets to slip. You make your line tighter usually by pulling it this way. It will make your line tighter. And this is used for clotheslines. Okay, and it should look just like this. On the tenderfoot rank, you're gonna have to demonstrate the practical uses of the three knots you just learned. Square knot, two half hitch, and taut line. The second class rank. 2F is a sheet bend knot. 2G is a bowling knot. This is a sheet bend. This takes two different diameter ropes 
and you make the rope longer. So the rope, that's the fat rope, you're just gonna make a bite, which again is just a loop. You're gonna take your skinny rope, go up under it, around it, make sure you got enough. Go around it and then the whole thing, you're gonna go around the whole thing and come up under the skinny one. And then that, that ties two ropes of different diameters together. And what's this called? A sheet bin. Big controversy, is it bowlin or bowline? Let's see what the dictionary and Alexa say. Bowlin. I pronounce that bowlin. All right, two to zero, bowlin knot. So we're gonna do the story of the rabbit. Start out, and it, this has to be over. Don't do it, don't do it from behind, because it won't work. This goes over the tree trunk. Your rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. And it's really hard when you have little hands, but you're gonna have to keep this one up, and this one is where you're gonna just, you don't pull it, you pull the top one. And there you go. So the bowling knot is considered a rescue knot because it does not cinch down, it does not tighten. It stays the same diameter that you tie it. Let's do it a different way. Let's try it with it around your body. You have to put this, hold this part with this little extension. This is your anchor point. You're gonna go around and you're gonna go around your fingers and then around the anchor of the tree Grab your little piece and pull. All right, we've made it to first class. So now these knots are timber hitch and clove hitch, 3B. The timber hitch is used to drag a timber or a big log through the woods. And then your clove hitch is a good start for lashings. Now this is obviously tiny and I could lift it up. But if, if you have a log, you're gonna wanna lay this down and then obviously somehow figure out how to roll it on top of it. Otherwise, let's say you get it up under there, you're gonna have to make sure you have enough to spin it. Take your other end, put it through, and then you drag it. Clove hitch. This is first class rank 3B and it's used to start lashings. So you go over, you come around, you make an X, and then you follow this one. You follow the same thing. There's your X, and just take it up under and follow this other one underneath it, and you pull. Makes an X. That's the start of a lashing. Alright, this is another way of doing the clove hitch. This is if you want to do it on top of something. So you take your rope and you do an, an over loop, another over loop, but then you're gonna cross them. Put that over your object and tighten. And there's your clove hitch. Hey scouters, if you're getting any value out of this, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh... So here's a list of the knots. You get five seconds before each knot. Then when the bell rings, that means I'm done. Have fun.
All right, congratulations. Hopefully you beat me. Check out other videos and don't forget to subscribe.